All right, welcome back to another video on the path of making tumblers for my family members. <laughs> I um, This tumbler is going to be for my nephew. This is a 20 ounce skinny black powder coated tumbler that uh, double walled that I purchased from the Craft Haven. And I will have her link down in my description box. I this lady, I received my order the ne very next day after I placed it. I was I'm very impressed. Of course, she is in Vegas, and I am in Southern California, so it doesn't take long. All right, so my nephew here likes anime, and so this is Sailor Moon lineup of the different characters. There's like maybe five or six of the girls here. And I do believe that they are all girls. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. Alright, so it's gonna take take my time here. Try to get all that up. Without ripping any of the image, use my little pokey tool here to help do that. down with my hand. <laughs> I'm going to cut this off. And this tool is kind of hard because as you can see I mean, it's white. So let's see here. Get that pokey part. It's like a needle in there. Get that lifted up. I guess. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> fast forward through this because this looks to me like it's going to be a hard one to. Weed out when I'm blind to its white. So I'll fast forward you through this. I got it all. take this and 
We'll lace it over the girls here. Press this down as I'm peeling this away. Could use my, uh, where is it? A little squeegee tool. Oops. Squeegee it down as I roll it, or peel it. Just make sure the girls are still good. <laughs> make sure the girls are good. Okay. About got it. This paper keeps going on to my oh, I'm a little shy down here, but oh well. Tis what it is. It'll still work. Okay. Start over here. And just pull this back. Ah, I lost it. Our Sailor Moon. <laughs> okay. Get this back into frame. See my things here have a little mesh, have little uh, rulers, so it kind of helps out a little bit. But I am going to try to very carefully. Get this as centered this way as I can. I probably should do the hinge method with this, but I'm not going to. Carefully. It's one of the easiest tumblers I've done yet. <laughs> Thanks, little buddy. All right, so there we have that. I'm going to just use my squeegee here to help get out any air bubbles that might be trapped under there. Uh, 
Okay. Kill this off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this peeled off of here, and then I'm going to spray paint this, spray it with two times uh, Rust-Oleum Matte Clear, and then I will get probably just two, two coats of epoxy, 20 milliliters each coat, 10 parts A, 10 parts B each coat and it'll be done and we'll be back get my little sticker on the bottom here so that my nephew can show off <laughs> where it came from I think it's great he's gonna love it okay perfect let me get this on here real quick <clears throat> Oh, that's what happened. Look at some of my tape didn't come off. Oh, well. But anyway, look at that. It's so pretty. Well, I wouldn't say it's so pretty, but it's pretty cool if you want, if you ask me. <laughs> it's kind of like Charlie's Angels. All right, so who knows with him how he'll drink out of this. So we'll just go ahead and place my little sticker here on the bottom love these little stickers kind of quite handy well not quite handy but show off people keep telling me to sign them and that I don't really want to sign them so I'm just gonna get a sticker <sighs> press down All right, so again, now it's going to get two two coats, two good coats of some the matte clear and then the epoxy and we'll be back when this is finished. See you then. All right, here is this cup with its third coat, third and final coat of epoxy, excuse me. <laughs> um I did two coats I believe the first one was probably, I think they're both 10 milliliters, so 20 milliliters altogether. Um, and that's what this one is as well. So as soon as this one's finished, excuse my background, but this is where I um, epoxy my cups in the bathroom. But yep, this is it. So I'll pull it off when she's done. And because yeah. I did sand the top of it off, that's why. It is having its last coat because it needed to be sanded just a little bit. So we'll be back. All right, I am back with this tumbler. And she's all finished. Ready for. My nephew. So this was a quick, easy, simple, seamless <laughs> tumbler, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching. And um, I just want to say that um, I'm kind of gonna go more towards tumblers, not necessarily tutorials, because I don't think I'm quite there yet. However, um, I'm making money off of my tumblers and my paintings. I'm not really making money off of them. I love them. I love doing them. They are gorgeous. They're beautiful. I will continue to do them, but making my tumblers is a lot of fun and is making me money. <laughs> so I hope you understand. And um, I'm not saying I'm not going to do any paintings because I will, but. My videos will probably gonna gear more towards tumblers. 
So, and I said, as of right now, I'm not ready to do tutorials yet. I do tell you what I do. <laughs> so, if you want to call that a tutorial, but anyway, so I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of my viewers and subscribers. And if you are not currently subscribed and you like a little bit of mixed up crafty creations, then please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I'm sorry for hitting my rings on this. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. Have a great night. Whatever it may be for you. And until my next video. Take care.